function refers to the arrangement of organelles, cells, tissues and organs to bring about various activities in a plant body. Different organisms have different levels of organization. Organization of unicellular level It occurs in unicellular organisms. The body of organisms consists of a single continuous mass of protoplasm surrounded by cell membrane or cell wall. The organelles in the single cell are to carry out all the vital functions of a living organism. Example, Chlamydomonas, Euglena, Amoeba, Paramecium, etc. Organization of tissue level. A group of cells is called tissue. The tissue may be same type or more than one type. The organisms whose bodies are made up of only tissues are having tissue level of organization. Here, all vital functions are done at tissue level. Example, algae, wallwalks and spirogyra, hydra, etc. Organization at organ level. Higher plants and animals possess distinct organs. An organ is made up of tissue. An organ carries out one or more specific functions. For example, a flowering plant has many organs such as root, stem, leaves, flowers and seeds. Of these, flowers are to do sexual reproduction. Root, stem and leaf are vegetative organs as they are connected with maintaining and nourishing the plant. Organization at organ system level This level of organization involves the coordination of some organs to carry out certain specific functions. For example, higher group of plants have two organ systems, root system and loot system. Root system consists of similar non-green organs or root branches to do the functions like absorption, fixation, etc. Unicellular level euglena Euglena has unicellular level of organization as its body is made up of single cell. Euglena viridis is a solitary free swimming organism living in ponds, ditches, pools, lakes, etc. Euglena needs sunlight for photosynthesis. Morphology of Euglena Euglena, a green, slender, elongated, spindle-shaped in appearance. It measures about 40 to 60 mu m length and 40 to 20 mu m in breadth. The body is protected by pellicle which underlies the plasma membrane. Pellicle is always thin, flexible and strong. At the anterior blunt end of the body, there is a funnel-shaped depression called cytosome or cell mouth. Cytosome leads into a short canal called cytopharynx or gullet. The lower end of the gullet is enlarged into sac-like structure called reservoir. There are two flagella seen in the mouth region of euglena. One is long, thin and whip-like, emerging from the reservoir beyond the cytosome. Another one is shorter, which lies with the reservoir. The long flagellum helps in locomotion. The cytoplasm of euglena is divided into outer ectoplasm and inner endoplasm. Endoplasm contains cellular organelles such as stigma, chloroplasts, mitochondria, nucleus, contractile vacuole and other common organelles. Euglena contains many slender band-like elongated chloroplasts which are arranged like the rays of a star. With the help of chloroplasts, 
this organism prepares its own food named paramylon, a polysaccharide. There is a photoreceptor apparatus which includes stigma and paraflagellar body near the cytopharynx region of euglena. A large contractile vacuole lies near the reservoir. It is surrounded by many minute accessory contractile vacuoles. The vacuoles discharge watery contents into the reservoir. Physiology of Euglena Locomotion Euglena exhibits following two types of movements. A. Euglenoid movement B. Flagellar movement A. Euglenoid movement Euglena slowly wriggles like a worm by means of peristasis, wave-like contraction and expansion in such a way that the body moves forward. This kind of movement is called euglenoid movement. B. Flagellar movement. At the anterior end of the euglena, long locomotory flagellum is seen. Minute lateral projections called mastigonemes are found all along the sides of the flagellum. With the help of mastigonemes, the flagellum pulls organism forward. This is called flagellar movement. Euglena can travel forward at a rate of 0.5 mm s to the power of minus 1 by flagellar movement. Multicellular level Eulothrix and Selaginella are the examples of organisms having tissue level to organ system level are collectively supposed to have multicellular level. Eulothrix Eulothrix is a common filamentous algae growing in cold water. It grows attached to stones or small rocks. It belongs to the class Chlorophyces and order Eulotrihales. Structure The plant body is an unbranched uniseriate filament consisting of a single row of cells arranged end to end. The basal cell is devoid of chloroplast and also is called hold fast which helps in attachment of the algae to a suitable substratum. Cell wall has two layers. One is outer layer made up of pectin and another one is inner layer made up of cellulose. The cells of the body consist of a large central vacuole and protoplasm. A girdle-shaped chloroplast is present in the cytoplasm of each cell. A large haploid nucleus is seen in the center. All the cells, except holdfast, are capable of division. Reproduction Eulothrix reproduces by vegetative, asexual and sexual methods. Vegetative Reproduction Eulothrix vegetatively reproduces by fragmentation. The vegetative filament breaks into segments which may contain a few to several cells. Each fragment is capable of giving rise to a new filament by divisions. Asexual Reproduction Eulothrix reproduces asexually by spores called zoospores. The protoplast recedes from cell wall and undergoes division to form many daughter protoplast. Each protoplast metamorphoses into a zoospore. The zoospores then escape into a thin vesicle through a pore on lateral wall. When vesicle disintegrates, the zoospores are set free. Each zoospore is quindriflagellate, which means having four flagella. If the zoospores are larger in size, they can be macrozoospores, and if they are smaller in size, they are called microzoospore. Germination of zoospores The liberated zoospores swim in water for some time or some days with the help of flagella. Finally, they attach themselves to the substratum. Now, the flagella are lost and a cell wall is secreted around 
each zoospore within the cell wall. The zoospore divides transversely into two cells. The lower cell elongates and modifies into hold fast, and the upper cell, after repeated divisions, forms the filament. Sexual reproduction. All the cells in the filament, except the hold fast, can produce gametes. During gamete formation, the protoplast divides and redivides to form 32 to 128 haploid gametes. There is no differentiation of male gametes and female gametes. All gametes produced in same or different filaments are identical. Each gamete is biflagellate after the formation of gametes. They are released through a pore in the lateral call wall into a delicate vesicle and the gametes are set free by the disintegration of the vesicle. After their release from the fertilization, in other words, vesicle fusion takes place between them. If two gametes from same filament are fused, their fusion is called homothallic. And if the two gametes from two different filaments are fused, their fusion is called hemophihalic. Triofusion product of two gametes is called zygospore, which is diploid. Germination of zygospore. The zygospore secretes a thick wall and undergoes a period of rest to store food materials. On return of favorable conditions, zygospore undergoes the protoplast division and produces 4 to 16 small spores called zoospores. Later, the spores are released and they develop into new filaments. Selaginella. It belongs to the division Pteridophyta. Selaginella is commonly known as club moss. Most of the species grow in damp forest of tropical countries. External structure of plant body. Mature saprophyte of Selaginella. The plant body, saprophyte, is differentiated into roots, stem, leaves and rhizopores, root-like structures. In all the species of Salaginella, a small membranous tongue-like outgrowth called ligule is found at the base of each leaf on adaxial side. Reproduction Salaginella plant reproduces by spores. At the time of reproduction, specialized spore producing structure called strobilus or cones are produced terminally on lateral branches. Structure of a mature strobilus. The strobilus is conical and usually one-fourth to three inches in length. There is a central axis in the center of the cone. Number of special type of leaves called sporophylls are arranged on the central axis. In the axle of each sporophyll, a bag-like structure called sporangium is attached in which spores are produced. There are two types of spores, microspores, each one of which forms antheridium, male reproductive organ, in it, and megaspores, each one of which produces archegonium, female reproductive organ, in it. The sporangia producing only microspores are called microsporangia and megaspores are called megasporangia. Accordingly, the sporophylls bearing microsporangia are called microsporophylls and megasporangia are called megasporophylls. The cone may be formed of either microsporophylls or megasporophylls or both sporophylls according to the species. After maturation, both the sporangia dehyze, open, and liberate their spores which spreads on soil. Structure of male gametophyte. The microspore on the soil developing antheridium 
within its spore wall is called male gametophyte. Antheridium produces 128 to 256 male gametes called antherozoids into the microspore or male gametophyte. Structure of female gametophyte The megaspores liberated from megasporangium are covered by multilayered cell wall. Inside the megaspore, the lower region is vacuolated region, having vacuole, and upper region has apical cushion, looking cushion-shaped region. A few or many archegonia, female reproductive organ, are developed from the superficial cells of apical cushion. At the base of archegonia, an egg cell is present. Such a megaspore having archegonia, apical cushion and vacuolated region is called female gametophyte. It is anchored in soil by root-like structures called rhizoids growing from apical cushion. Fertilization The spore wall of male gametophyte on the soil bursts and releases biflagellate antherozoids, male gametes. The liberated antherozoids swim with the help of flagella to the archegonia which are exposed by bursting of spore wall of female gametophyte through a thin film of dew or rainwater. Finally, the antherozoids enter into archegonia and fertilize the egg, forming a diploid zygote.